Hey everyone, we're back with a family reaction to the new Star Wars trailer. We did reaction videos to The Force Awakens, which was pretty exciting. Uh, we were all pretty psyched for those trailers. Uh, we did a reaction video to The Last Jedi, and I remember defending Luke as saying he would never get rid of the Jedi Order, and that this was all misdirection, and the movie would be better than the trailer, and I may not have been correct on that. But now we have a Star Wars celebration going on. So we're going to give the kids and everyone else a first look at the new Star Wars movie coming out. Let's see, what are we in March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Eight months from now. So get psyched. And I did not know this was even a thing before, like, ten minutes ago. Right, unless they have a, uh, what are you playing down there? Alarm. <laughs> unless they have a special event in Fortnite for Star Wars Celebration, Lucas is not aware of anything going on. <laughs> But now you got me curious about what you're playing down there, about your staunch refusal. Why, what? Yeah, why what? Who, who, who said anything about what, what I'm doing? I'm playing? Yeah, playing what? All right, all right. So here we go. First trailer for the new Star Wars movie. Lots to take in here. Lots to take in. Lucas, first impression. Uh, well, okay, so the first thing I noticed was Luke narrating everything, yep. and then the Kylo Ren ship thing was cool. Thought that was interesting. Uh, there was, I, I really liked the Lando in, with Chewbacca. Yeah. That was, I, That's really cool. He got his ship back. I'm excited about that. The... Uh, the cackles I'm really of sad. Right. <laughs> You're really sad. Okay. Uh, the cackles of Emperor Palpatine at the end. Yeah. Wondering how they're going to bring him into this. The Death Star, the second Death Star, I think. Yep, second Death Star in the water. Yes. Yep. So if you remember, uh, I don't know if you remember, I don't know why you remember, you never looked at it, but I had a. Uh, a book, The Art of the Force Awakens, and they have a lot of concept ideas for costumes and set designs. And one of the early set designs for The Force Awakens was uh, Rey swimming underwater to the remains of uh, the second Death Star. So it looks like they may be revisiting. Of course, that was uh, J.D. Abrams' uh, idea. So it looks like he's going back to that. I'm also wondering uh, what planet they're on that the Death Star went on to. Well, that would have been uh, Endor. Right? Uh, oh no! Well, it was the moon of Endor, so maybe that's Endor proper, not the moon. Huh? This is all maybes. So. Well, maybes, yes. You never know. I mean, this yeah. is this is uh, months away, so obviously they're yeah. they're uh, not so going to give away like too she much. So starts back on Jakku, right? Yeah, Jakku. In that desert. Yeah, Jakku are uh, Tatooine. Jakku. 
uh, if she's exploring the roots of Darth Vader yeah, or something, that, it could be that Tatooine. Could fit in good. Yep. I mean, obviously Kylo, Kylo Ren's there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was good to see Kylo Ren make repairing his mask after Snoke uh, mocked it, yeah. and he destroyed it. But uh, that's cool. Uh, Lily, why were you sad? Um, because Han Solo died. Boy, that oh, was that was two movies ago. ago, yeah. I know. No, but seeing so Lando with Chewbacca oh. brought back the memory yeah. that Han is now dead. Yeah, Han is now sad. dead. Uh, Carrie Fisher with the princess. Yeah. Princess Leia, that was oh. all... She didn't get to film any of her scenes, so they rewrote the story, and that was all scenes she did for the other two movies, outtakes mm. and scenes they deleted. So okay. I think that That's hug, really that hug may have been from the Force Awakens. Right. Remember how they yeah. they hugged Bryce, after Han yeah. Han had died. That may have been an alternate I totally take. Totally forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with her. Yeah. Uh, how, how good it looks. Uh, you had the Death Star there. It looked like uh, another thing for Tatooine, perhaps being the desert planet, was the ship that uh, the heroes were on. Uh, it looked like the skiff from Jabba's palace. Remember when they took the skiff out to, to kick uh, Han and Luke off of it into the solid oh, yeah. pit? Yeah. And it had that like kind of open barge thing. It looks like they're flying one of those. I missed that. Missed that. Yeah, there was a lot there. There was a trooper that got shot out. Uh, that is the the Emperor's laugh at the yes. end. Yes. Uh, so what is the meaning of the title? The, ri the Rise uh, of the Skywalker? Rise of, yeah, The Rise of Skywalker. So... A couple train of thoughts here is that uh, Ray is going to be a Skywalker or a descendant of such. Oh. Uh, but another train of thought, it, yeah. it maybe more likely would be uh, that Ray uh, starts up another Force group, and instead of calling them the Jedi, she calls them the Skywalkers, as a tribute to oh. to the Master. Instead of like, because yeah, at this point, was wasn't he terrible? Well, he wasn't a, a great, but movie? I mean, yeah, I don't know. That, that's like, a, I wouldn't name anything after him. Well, <laughs> he was pretty awful. Yeah, well, that's one of the train of thoughts, though, is the, the rise of Skywalker will be uh, like the new group of force wielders. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ben Ben and uh, Princess Leia Jedi. named their kid Ben, and Han knew Obi-Wan for like 15 so, minutes. So, so that... Um, and I think that medal was from the original Star Wars, the one that they put o over there that you someone was looking at. Could oh, have I been. thought that... Okay. Is that the medal? I don't know. I mean, I saw it there. Yeah. seemed like they should have recognized that medal. But, uh, it looked like BB-8. What? The, the oh, gold the, the, medal with yeah. the two circles? It looked like BB-8. Oh, BB-8, yeah. <laughs> well, BB-8 has a new friend uh, in the trailer. So that laugh at the end is... Palpatine. Palpatine? Yeah, yeah. Palpatine. But I thought he... He died. He was dead. He, he died. died in the Revenge of... No, uh, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Why? Well, he was tossed down the pit. Yes, so. Darth Vader. Why would he be a thing There's a in couple, this movie? There's a couple train of thoughts. Uh, the original extended universe had uh, clones of the Emperor, which were as stable, uh, that Luke had to actually go to the dark side and kill him uh, to save the, unit, the galaxy. I don't think that's where they would have been going here, though. Well... This again. This this is some train of thoughts, and then the other train of thought was Snoke may have been a uh, clone of the Emperor that was not developed correctly. If you remember, if you remember the clones for the Clone Wars, uh, based on uh, Jango Fett, yeah. it took a certain amount of years. They could accelerate the growth, but not. Jango. You know, Fett. you couldn't make them fully grown in a week. They 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 had to be raised at an accelerated rate. So there was an idea of, with the Force user, it would take a longer period of span, and the people who worshipped uh, Palpatine got was cloning him. And they tried to rush it, and then that, that was Snoke. And now, but the but a clone of Palpatine still out there. But Snoke's dead. Yes, yes, he is dead. So he's. So, so he's he would have just been a deformed be version. Like another oh. version of Snoke. And their reasoning is going to be that he was another clone. Now it, it doesn't Emperor. confirm anything, but at when they did this at Star Wars Celebration, uh, they sh they darkened the lights and they showed the trailer, uh, which I actually told everyone not to bother me at work. Uh, during this time frame uh, so I could watch it uh, and then after the trailer the lights came back on and the actor Ian McDermott is that him or is that the guy from another show Ian something uh, oh 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 wait who, what person are you talking the about the guy who played the emperor in the original movies oh, and the prequels oh, okay. was actually on stage okay and he's like oh let's roll it again and they showed it again so they actually flew out the emperor to be there as a surprise so there's a lot of things. I mean, this whole trailer, I think, is just 
just enough to be discussed. Big in just about well, every yeah, aspect. That's how they like to do it. Yeah. I mean, again, eight months, we got a long time to go. Uh, but even the, the next cue on uh, after you watch the Star Wars trailer is how can Palpatine still be alive for episode nine? Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of geek theories, uh, a lot of second by second critiques of the trailer. But uh, it's good. I'm glad J.J. Abrams back. Uh, yeah. He's talked about kind of getting back to the original vision he had for the trilogy and kind of correcting course. Which kind of stinks because they ruined a lot of that in the last movie. Well, we'll yeah, so they ruined. A, I think they ruined a lot of what he may have had envisioned, and now he's got to work for the with the remains yes. of the crap that was the last movie. Yeah, but this is going to be the last film in the nine so nine film saga. So I'm glad so. that he's back to kind of get it back on track where it should be. Yep. And they also announced yesterday, actually, uh, I, I doubt anyone here saw it, uh, the new Disney Plus service. What? Uh, it's a streaming service like Netflix, but it's all Disney oh, properties. yeah, you said something like that. So they're going to yeah. have, like, Clone Wars on there. Right? Have, like, uh, not Clone Wars, but you know what I mean. Yeah, they're going to have all the Marvel movies, all the Star Wars movies, all the Simpsons, all the... Because now Disney owns Fox, who makes the Simpsons. Uh, they're going to have all, the, all kinds of things like that to make an original series... Uh, they got uh, the Mandalorian, which is going to be uh, takes place after the uh, Return of the Jedi, before the uh, Force Awakens, about a guy with the Mandalorian uh, armor. Uh, oh. That's by John Favreau. Uh, that's coming. That's going to be a live action, uh, hour long series. Really? Yep. They have that. They have. Uh, they announced a new season of the Clone Wars is going to be exclusive to it. They have a series of Marvel movies. They have a uh, Hawkeye movie. Uh, not a Hawkeye movie, I just apologize, a Hawkeye TV series. Much like Netflix, it's going to be 10 episodes, and that's right, it. Yeah. And it actually has the guy who's Hawkeye. Oh, they're they're cool. going to have a, uh, it's called WandaVision, and it's going to be the Scarlet Witch, whose name is Wanda, and the Vision. They have a 10-episode series. That's cool. And they have a, an animated series called What If, where they're going to do, uh, like, what if, oh, I don't know, what if Captain America died instead of Bucky, and how that would have impacted things, huh. and... I don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna have film variations or just comic books, but I mean, if it's on the film thing, I think they'd address That's some of cool. the film things. You know, uh, you know, what if Wakanda never came? You know, joined in the battle, all kinds of things. So they have a, they have about 14, 15 different new series coming as well, and that's going to be six ninety nine a month. And you can stream all the all the Disney movies, and that's and again all the Disney Aladdin movies, Sword in the Stone, right. all the old uh, Ducktales so shows. They have such a, a lot of things, so yeah. And this is only day one of celebration, so there's going to be more reveals. They have a new Star Wars video game they're going to be revealing, uh, the Fallen Jedi, uh, that they're going to be releasing. They announced Star Wars pinball for the Switch, all 24 odd mm -hmm. tables, which will be great. Uh, so there'll be more announcements, but this was a a look. We've done them for all the Star Wars movies, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, keep the tradition alive. Uh, so we'll have to do them when the next trailers are released as well. But that could probably be months from now. Yes. But it's going to be exciting. I, my, I got my hope back uh, for the next movie. It's so. weird how they didn't release it in December. Um, like like the last two movies. Yeah. they Well, it's going to come out in December, but they had to skip a year. What they should have did is hold, held Solo, released that last Christmas. Instead, they released Solo three months after The Last Jedi. They didn't do that wow. great. And it's now they, they don't have any more movies planned. Uh, they're going to take a break from the actual movies, focus on TV for a little bit. But this is the ninth in the saga, and this will end the uh, Star Wars, uh, the Star Wars, the Skywalker saga. All right. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll be back again with another reaction video when deemed necessary. Bye. Bye.